Yo, 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 guys, what's going on? It's Spicy Spider with another train tutorial. I, I'm cutting this one, uh, cave sound, I'm cutting this one very close. I thought I wasn't going to be able to get this one done. I actually recently re, I recently filmed the engine tutorial for this, but I had to redo it because it was oversized and I'm redoing it. Uh, this is the Polar Express, the Pierre Marquette 1225, and we also have the Polar Express vari variation. So not that much different change. So I'm actually filming this December 23rd, so tomorrow's Christmas Eve for me when I, for me at the time of this video is being filmed. But this will be out on Christmas. It should be out at 10, 10 o'clock. I'll just, I'll set it for a random time. So um, so this thing is 46 bucks long, I think. So um, if you guys have seen my live streams or yeah, my live streams, uh, you can tell that I kind of did some changes. Um, the tender, I tried to shorten it down because the tender was not as long as the engine. Um, uh, I also took the running boards, made them a bit thinner, more realistic. I couldn't really do that here. Um, this is a solid, this is a truck piece. Um, there's the wheel there. Uh, this was like, this looks weird. So if you guys don't want that detector sensor there, you can just get rid of it. Um, I just did it there because I'm, because I'm trying to make it match the prototype. If you guys don't know what I mean, look at a picture of it there. Um... And we also have coal in the tender, um, the yellow lettering, which I changed from terracotta to the yellow concrete powder. And a cab, no interior. I don't do interiors and in cabs. Um, I made the firebox a lot bigger. Um, I had to raise this part up mainly because of this here, and I forgot to put the banners there, but I'll put those later because um, this was here. Uh, it doesn't really didn't really change that much. I mean, it kind of gives it more style. I mean, I could probably replace it with carpet. Um, I'll put the banners in when we do that. And on the Polar Express variation, uh, I only edited a few things up here, like the smokes that color, the whistle I moved. Uh, there's no, the it's not a detector there, it's just a lever. Uh, the headlight's different. There's a safety bar here, the cow catcher. Um, the firebox in the movie on the Polar Express, it wasn't this color, but I wanted it to stand out. And the lettering's also white. Um, this is not an oil tender, and I could also show you how to build nickel plate road number 765. They're the same engine type, they're just a bit different, and I gave it numbing, number boards, so this is how it looks without it. Usually the Per Marquette seen without number boards, but I kind of I like them. So yeah, this wasn't requested by anybody, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get it started in on the build. So let's go ahead and grab our blocks. So we're going to start off with uh, our usual blocks for black colors. So like uh, we'll need black stone, black concrete, uh, s the black stone slab, dark oak sl wood slab. It's for the coupling. The reason why I didn't stick it out like that is because it, it looks weird. So eh. if you're going to have two of these things double heading, just put the other coupling there. So whatever you guys want. We're also going to need, we'll need that. Uh, let's go down here. We'll get black terracotta, the detector, I'm calling it detector because on Java Edition it's called a detector, and a trapdoor, and I guess we'll get out that. So if you're going from your spot, oh, here's also the end name, it's an N1284 Berkshire, I think that's what it is, might be something else. The nickel plate roads, there's was a, the S2 I think, or I don't know. So starting off, you're just going to want to place three like this. Similar, very similar to the UP steamer's uh, cow catcher design. Then take dark oak fence gate and open it up like this. I did not mean to destroy that. As you guys can hear like a shh sound, we have a um, uh, heater down here that's going on right now. Because this basement gets really cold. We'll place the dark oak wood slab there. Polished blackstone slab there. And polished blackstone stairs. You guys can just, just follow along. And then you're going to want to do something like this. The reason why I didn't want to leave the wheel exposed is because on the real thing, the wheel isn't exposed. It's actually closed off. It's like its own separate truck. So, And it's kind of at an angle. Not that much of an angle, but you get what I mean. If, this, if you don't like how this looks, you can get rid of these. And you can just replace this with a hopper, but... I don't really like it, but it, lo it looks fine. I also had to increase the engine length. They only had the dimensions for the total length, so I couldn't find any other information on it. I probably could find a, could have found blueprints, so 
So we're going to take black concrete. Like this. And you also need to get a... Uh, we'll need to get an iron trapdoor, but we'll do that later. The reason why I use iron trapdoor is because it's like a bit of a white. It has like white striping. Really the running boards are supposed to be having white striping. But I just decided to leave them one solid color. Uh, then take out your stairs. Then one there. And one there. And place those there. Uh, but you don't have to make it that color. You can just make it this color. But I like to keep it simple. Alright, then you're gonna... don't know how it looks back here, so I'm kind of... Oh wait, I got it right. I think I got it right. And that'll be there. I want to clear my infant, my inventory, like how they say it in Europe. Not that I have anything bad, it was just, it's like lever, I don't know how you pronounce lever in Minecraft. Is it lever or is it lever? I don't know, you guys tell me. Take polish black some buttons there, and then you can place your iron trap door there. Also, I forgot these buttons. Sorry if I'm making you guys sick going back and forth. Then this will be the headlight. The headlight, I thought was, it looks kind of too, it looks too chubby, this big, but it does work for bedrock. If I was on Java, I would just use a, a custom skull. So this is what you should have uh, so far. So now we're going to do the piston things. I also got to get the passenger cars done. I could make this a whole, whole one solid video, but that would be, be well over an hour long. And Share Factory likes to be an idiot. Uh, not that I have anything wrong with Share Factory, just doesn't like to film videos or upload videos that are over 60 minutes long. So my big boy tutorial, I kind of had to shorten that one down. Um, it sticks out here. These ones, they're not like this like they were on my Steam fleet. So, just because I'm pretty sure that, I don't know how big the cylinders are, but... I also got 8 Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe, number 3751, uh, and the works in the future. Uh, not here yet, but I got it planned. I got a J1, PR J1, um, which are actually, they're actually kind of one of my favorite uh, PR scene locomotives. Sad that they all weren't saved, but... Also, you don't have to make the front of this gray. Um, it can be black, but I think it's black right now, but I kind of like the gray and the black, how it goes together. I really wasn't going to do the whole section of the boiler, but... Okay, then... You're going to want to go 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1. Also, I thought about maybe building one-to-one -one stuff. Um, I've always wondered... I've always wanted to build one-to-one. -one. Um, it's a lot harder, though, because everything is three blocks wide. One-to-one -one means, like, it's actually, like, real life. Like, that's how big it would be, which doesn't really... I think 1.5 to 1 looks more like uh, real life, but... Like, building a big boy in one-to-one -one scale would be so hard. I could build, like, a 5 to 1. 5 to 1 isn't that hard. Okay, so this is what you should have. And you're going to want to fill that in with the black concrete. Take your dark oak fence gate and go in, in between each wheel and open it up one. These are, like I said before, the brakes or the sanders, whatever you want to call them. Also, I got uh, daylight, the daylight Southern Pacific 4449. Plan the UP9000 class, the uh, 412 twos. The world, they were pretty powerful, but more, I'll do that video, we'll do that tutorial when we get to it. I would do a full in-depth, like, expl explanation, but when I start getting HO models and stuff, I'll start explaining them. Christmas is coming up, too, and I got high hopes, high, really high hopes for what I'm getting this year. And it's like, I don't know what time it is, but... And I hope that this video recording actually does get saved. And if it doesn't, I can just clip it from... I can just do the uh, 
capture video gameplay option. Let's see. Then you're going to want to go in between each one and place your dark oak fence gate like so. It's kind of weird right now. And there you, and you're done. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. All right, then take your polished blackstone slab up here. You don't have to do this if you don't want to cuz uh they don't really have the these are what they call I guess flying number boards cuz I mean they kind of like stick out, but they don't stick out this much. They probably are like back that, but I like them sticking out. Um, the, it doesn't really have them. They take them off. They put them on. I don't know. I don't know if the Steam Railroading Institute. They're the ones that own the uh, 1225. I don't know if they wanna. I don't know if they, like they. I don't know why they, they just like like to take them on and off. Fun fact: If you notice about the number of the engine, it's the same number as Christmas Day. Uh, December. Uh, the, it's the 12th month, December, and 25 is the day of Christmas. Right, I'm going a bit off task. Off task here. I gotta get all these blocks. I'm trying to rush to this so I can get it uploaded. So if I don't get it uploaded tonight, I know I won't be able to do it tomorrow. All right. Maybe someday, guys, I'll show you a setup reveal. Uh, it's really just a t flat. It's just a not a flat screen TV. It's just a TV and three speakers ne around it. So two but two next to it. Um and. One on the bottom. My dad has a audio business, so he knows how to he knows how to do his stuff. All right, the part that I'm about to do here, I'm gonna explain it here in a second. The next part of the build. So on the 1225, if you look closely on the model, you'll notice that the le that the fart the uh, back wheel underneath the tender, this one here. The if you look close, you can't really tell, but if you have a model of it that's a scale model, the back wheel it staying sticks up higher because apparently this wheel is a bit higher. Now I don't if I try I have done this before on a steam engine in Minecraft, but if I tried to do it uh, 1.5 blocks by 1.5 blocks, it, it becomes too big. So I just decided I'm gonna change the design here, and make this detectors in their black so that or brown they they kind of blend in. And just make this look like it's a bit higher, so it'd probably be about maybe. I don't know how big it'd be if you're comparing Minecraft meters, or Minecraft blocks. And this is what you should have, and we'll stick this out. So when I'm counting the length, uh, I even count this big gap in the length. If you guys don't like the gap, you can move the tender closer to the locomotive, but. I like the big gap because it kind of reminds me of those HO models and you can actually fit. It doesn't look all jam packed. That's all up to your opinion if you guys want uh, it to be closed off. Alright, let's keep on. Let's stay on task. I don't want to get off task. Alright, just clear your inventory. Oh, we forgot to do this part. I'm going to forget this part later on. I'm never going to do it. That hurt my ears. Alright, and I don't think we'll need the hopper later, but we can just forget it for now. I don't have the Minecraft music playing. Here, we'll turn on that Minecraft music. Let me just pull it up. So that's what you guys don't. There, now we have some music playing in the background. Just Minecraft music. I'm too lazy to actually download custom music. Right, just want to follow along here. Oops, try not to let these open up. Alright, when you get down to the... One, two, three, four, the fifth uh, trap door, you're going to want to take your Blackstone stairs and go... One, two, three, four blocks down. Yeah, four blocks down and make them upside down. Oh, yep, there comes the controller drift. Um, if you guys notice, my character kind of moved this way. It's drift. I'm going to use this controller because it has higher battery, so I was right. It is broken. But it's not going to prevent me from doing tutorials. I ought to even do tutorials if my, X, if my X button wasn't working. I would still do tutorials. It'd be kind of hard to place stuff down. All right. This next part, I don't know if it's really like this on the one. Uh, the Polar Express HO model I have, this side here, 
doesn't have a dip down as much here. If it doesn't the real thing, then oh well, we're just gonna have to deal with it. So when you got that part, you're gonna wanna put it up and then I think one, two, three, upside down ones. Yeah, I can feel the drift, this is annoying. And then three next to it. Right, I had to make sure that my audio was actually working. And one, two, three, four. Thing goes back by two. Nope, when we get here, it's actually gonna lift up. All right. Now, this thing I feel like has more detail than my uh, UP Steam fleet ones. All right. Uh, let's get this Santa hat out of there. If I had face cam, I would turn it on, but I don't want to show my face yet. All right, maybe for Christmas. I'll, no. Uh, nah, I'm not going to do that. I don't. I just don't want to show my face on YouTube yet. I'll do that when I hit enough subscribers. Or if you guys... If you guys can really bug me enough, like annoy me on my Discord server. Oh yeah, check out my Discord server. The link in the description. Um, check out my Discord server. Come join. It's kind of inactive. I'm not really on all the time because first off I was grounded, but let's stack this back like that. Yeah, these fireboxes on some of these engines were insane. The ones on like the big boys and challengers, those things, they were big, but or they were actually really big if you think about it. But these ones are huge. Like, don't take that in the... Please don't take that in a different way, please. I shouldn't have even said that because now you're all going to take it in a different way. Just don't say anything. Just don't take that, like, the huge thing in a different way, but... Alright, set this back by three. And actually, uh, underneath the uh, cab, it's like a whitish color. I wanted to give it that uh, Christmassy feel almost. The Polar Express coaches, though, I'm going to have to film those right after this one. So it's going to be two separate videos um the it depends on how long they are so the coaches could come out could be premiering before but they'll both be released at the same date so like i said you just guys want to just follow along so if i talk too much it's gonna get if i talk too much yep i can feel the drift already i'm not i'm not gonna switch controllers because it's gonna cancel this audio f or this audio footage it's gonna cancel the uh, video footage i'd rather deal with I do not want to have to redo this. Right. Then. Oh. Yep. This drift is getting really. It's getting on my nerves. Hang on. I uh, just snagged the controller a little bit. Hopefully that'll help. Did I seriously stick this out? I don't know why I did this. Why in the heck did I stick it out? Huh. Oh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Yep, I can feel the drift. We can deal with the drift, right, guys? I mean, I'd rather have a broken controller than have a controller that doesn't even work. I mean, seriously, guys, I would rather have a controller where the joysticks, if I touch it, I go flying at 255 speed than have a controller that, I, that doesn't even want to work. So... I also got to remember to put the banners here for the windows for the cab. Alright, so we're not done with the engine yet, but we're getting close. So actually, I'm going to do this a bit out of order like I usually do. We're going to go ahead and speed through these. I don't want to build too fast, because I need you guys, I want you guys to be able to follow along. So... Okay. If we're building the, the um, truck segments or the wheels that stick up, you're going to want to do it like this. I think I'm going to sneeze. If I have to sneeze, I'll mute my mic. So, one, two. Uh, funny story. Today, uh, during the recording of this video, um, we got a, we're getting a, or we have, I don't even know. Because by the time of this, um, I don't even know if we got this pinata, but we're going to, I told everybody we should get a Fortnite pinata for uh, Christmas. Like, do you know like how you like you'll smash with like one on like your birthday? I only got it just as I only wanted one just as a total joke. Like not even because I like Fortnite. I just wanted to get it because of how much I hate Fort. I just want sorry if you hear whispering. It's my sister being annoying, but um, 
like I literally just wanted it because I thought it'd be funny if we got a Fortnite pinata and so I could put my rage out on Fortnite. I'm not gonna show a video of it, but you guys can picture what I'm gonna do to the Fortnite pinata in my head. It's candies are gonna be spilling out everywhere. Okay, that's a bit too far, spicy spider. Don't go that far. Oh, I also gotta get that CSX tutorial done too. I forgot about that one. Um, Alright, that's what we got. And also, right, then go behind here, just to here. I saw, I saw this little detail. It looked like it was right here. It's probably sticking out a little bit more, but it's like here. I couldn't really see if it went all the way down there. It's like a little detail that I want to implement. It makes it look better. I wonder how many of you guys are going to be staying up all night waiting for this. Um, I'll try to get a custom, uh, hopefully this video will, at the time you guys are watching, you'll have a custom thumbnail, so. Hopefully it will. Um, you guys just want to follow along, I'll kind of slow it down here. So you guys can, like, catch up. <laughs> that's funny. Catch up. Nope, not like that. Right, then you're gonna wanna go back like three from that button, I think. Yeah, and then place another one there. And then, one, two, three. Sorry, I had to mute my mic uh, for a second there. Oh man, my stomach really doesn't like me today. Probably because I had spin pizza. I don't think spin pizza is just here in the state I live. Spin pizza, it's a pizza place, really good pizza. Go check them out. They don't have a YouTube channel. Go check them out if you know what spin pizza is. Because if you don't, I'll be in your sleep tonight. I'm just kidding. That's weird. Who would, who would do that? Come on. You guys can kind of see. Oh wait, I'm almost done with the engine. Totally forgot. Also, so I know, we'll put a button there. Alright, and on the firebox, we're going to do the ash pan. That's the ash pan, that's what we'll do. I mean, is the fire still going? Okay. So I should have muted my mic there, it's fine. Everybody already knows that it probably have sisters you guys have been watching since the beginning. I think this year, well, I really don't have a lot of videos, so I can't really do a best of the year. Um, uh, best videos of 2020. I was supposed to do that. Like, actually, in 2018, I promised myself I'd do that, but I never did. Right, next, but this year. I don't know what this is. I saw this little detail there. It's not part of the ash pan, but I saw it there. But, for the first time, I'm actually doing the blowdown. Those of you guys don't know what the blowdown is, it's a little air pocket before they can inject the steam out of it because if the boiler gets too hot it explodes and you don't want that to happen uh, you die and nobody survives all right let's just go through the engine I think I'm done I forgot the banners then we can move into the tender the locomotive parts like the easiest part that word locomotive 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 almost sounds like Spanish because loco because like poco loco uh, <laughs> quoting that from that one movie, what was it called? Uh, Coco, the movie Coco. Where the heck? Okay. I think ink sacs can still be used in dyes, right? Okay, good. Oh, I could have made it with like the line through it. To make it look more like how they... Eh, it's fine. I already got this done. Right. I hope that I got the whole engine part done. Let me just check over the engine. Make sure that I actually did get it done. Should I put it... No, I won't put a button up there. If I didn't, I'll come back to it. Alright. I mean, it would have a roof hatch vent there, but... I'm not going to do that this time. Alright, blower... Uh, what this is, I saw it. 
Uh, it's like a wa hose or wire thing. It connects from this wheel and goes up here. So, but of course I'm not going to stick it out because that's going to look really strange. Stupid freaking controller drift. I'm going to kill you. Don't take that in the wrong way, please. I don't want YouTube to come up to my front doorstep. When do you get the YouTube bronze play button? Is that is it at 10,000 subscribers? I think it's at 10,000 subs. I do know that the uh, the gold one is when you hit 1 million, I'm pretty sure. And then the silver is at 1k, 100k. And I'll figure out what I'm going to do for my 100 for my 1000 subscriber special when I ever reach that point. Also, guys, thanks for getting the big boy tutorial up to 4.k views. I don't know if it's at 4.k views. Hopefully it is. Uh, hopefully it will. It's not. If talking to. This is future spicy talking here. It's probably not at the in the future. It's probably more than that if I continue with my channel, of course. But Or the views could. No, wait. Views can't drop. That'd be weird if your views just dropped. Alright. This is the tender segment, so. All right, and then we're going to add spruce fence. Uh, I like. I wanted. I was originally on my original one. I was going to use the uh, that color, but I like this one better. This design really improved from the pre-production one I had. Like I usually tell you guys, uh, the live streams, the build is not the final product. That's just like the test run. I also got a few other Steam tutorials. Somebody requested I do a. Dreyfus Hudson, I think Bullet Nose. I th think that I'll have to figure out what the NYC's Bullet Nose one was, but I'll probably build both the, uh, the Dreyfus Hudson and the Bullet Nose Hudson. All right, so this is the tender wheel thing. It's like a three axle truck. Also, I might make a second channel exclusively for model rarity and for my channel. I mean, for my channel, duh, and exclusively for my layout, which I'm actually tearing apart. I took off all the track. I'm almost done getting all the cork off. That Elmer's glue that I put down on there really stuck to it. The reason why is because the track was laid bad. I'm replacing it with Bachman Easy Track. Um, uh, I actually have a lot of the track, <laughs> like a lot of curves and straights. So that's one reason why I'm using it. And I'm replacing it with 22 inch curves and 18 inch curves in the middle. So that'll help me with like larger engines can go on the outside and. Engines that don't need that much of a radius can go on the inside, so. That's that. I'll see if I could fit the passenger cars into this tutorial. Probably not. I wish it had like a, I wish every 10 minutes it showed like a thing on the top that says, you have been recording for 10 minutes or so. All right. And yes, before anybody says, there is an offset on the wheels. Uh, I looked on a model. Uh, the wheels are closer to this part than they are to the back. So it's like a little bit of a stick out here. So it is it is proper. It is proper. So, so that's why you guys don't be like, uh, you messed something up. So otherwise I would have known. The big wood tutorial I know took me forever. It's like a 58 minute long video. Most people, their videos aren't that long, but. Also, the Havenwood Railroad stories should be coming out at some point. I am working on a route, but if I feel like it, I'll probably just download a route from like the download station or from Jointed Rails website and use that for the series. There is one route I plan that I might use, and I'll put credit down for the route. Because, of course, I mean, I'm lazy. I can't do scenery and crap. I have to literally. I just, it's like in Minecraft, my scenery, it's just much of default trees. I'm an OG kid, I still use default trees. Only the OGs use default trees. No offense to you, new players, but... And my stomach hurts. It's not like that normal kind, it's like when you eat something and your stomach hurts. Alright, now we can do the tender part. I'm not going to show you guys how to do the coal load, just because it takes up too much time. 
Cola is anyways optional, you don't have to put it in, but if you want it to look like it's running like an excursion or something, I would recommend putting in the cola. I put two the door things there, whatever they're called. Fence gates. We're gonna have to fill this part. I'll put down that the video title, it'll say uh, Pierre Marquette, Pierre Marquette 1225, uh, you get the thing, and then I'll, I'll say, the, aka the Polar Express, so. This video should spike through the roof. I hope it does. I really hope that this video gets a lot of views. I did speak with another YouTuber, Crafty Fox, and I asked him if he'd ever got hit, if he'd be getting his out. He said, sadly, he's not, because he hasn't gotten it worked on, but I literally, literally, got this entire locomotive redesign done in a day but I mean bigger youtubers that have a server to run and that have a bunch more tutorials I mean it's gonna take them some time so. not that like I'm competing in any way I should place this there place it there that'll be like a entryway for a crew to get up I don't even think it's there but I still want it there I gotta rush this I can't see a thing with this color remember I used to put my gamma on the max on minecraft place one there place a slab there if this video recording cuts out I'm gonna be like there's no way that I've been filming this for an hour this video is gonna take at least 10 minutes to upload though Like if you film a 10 second video, it'll be uploaded in like 2 seconds. And which I don't really like how it has to uh, say how it has to uh, copy over to the new file, but I mean I see why it does. This here would be the water bunker, so those of you guys wondering. I also got to start some uh, non-American steam locomotive designs. And then we'll get this toolbox done. Yes, there's like a little step ladder there and then there's like a toolbox for like where they keep like the pipes and stuff to fill up the engine with water All right then here okay I don't know if this engine is manually stoked stoking as like there's an auger that pushes the coal in there the big boys and challengers in the northerns I think had it but some of these are manually done by coal um, I'm gonna put the auger in here so literally literally all I did for the auger I hope it's this long. I hope I made the coal It was literally just like this. Oh, oops. Yeah, and it's gonna kind of cross them like that. You guys don't have to do this part. You could literally just use a wall. All right, I think I'm doing this part right. No, it's not like that. And the coal bunkers, like, they're not perfectly flat. I think that's so it pushes the coal down. Yeah, because if it couldn't push the coal down, the coal would just stay flat forever, so. I think some of them also, they had, like, a manual pusher. Or, no, not a manual, like, an automatic pusher that would uh, push the um, coal down. Now it's back by one. This would be like how they'd they just put this door open. Okay, it really wouldn't be like that, it'd be more like this. Then they this door would be open, it'd probably be open the whole run and that's how they get coal. I'm pretty sure this area would be a lot bigger, but I don't really got a lot of room. So I'll just make it empty. And if you guys don't like how that uh, thing shows there. Put that like there. Yeah, we'll just do that so you don't see the yellow. Not done yet. I almost was about to say, hey, we're going to go into the Polar Express conversion. Alright. Leave that open for the back ladder. Then... 
Good, no controller drift. Has been some in a while. Probably just jinxed myself now I'm about to get like a crap ton of controller drift. I know people that buy like six controllers so whenever they all die, like whenever a whole bunch of them die, they just switch over. Alright, I forgot to put this in the thing. I forgot to put that coupler cut bar thing. Yeah, this time we'll do Spruce Trap Door. There, I forgot to put that in on the actual thing. So, doing a quick flyby. Let's make sure that we got everything done. I did forget something, didn't I? Nope, didn't. Alright, I hope it's done. This is the Polar... This is the Pure Marquette 1225 locomotive. Um, oh, those Superliner cars I gotta get done too soon. And my rolling stock. Um, but this is this part. Uh, let's go look at the top. Probably forgot something. If I did, screw it. Oh, well. Uh, we'll just... I'll just have to say in the comments what to do, so... Uh, number boards up here don't have to be there. Okay, so now... I'm going to show you guys how to convert it to the Polar Express. I am going to see you guys at that part. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, when I was copying the thing, I kind of messed up the um, alignment, but just forget it, okay? It's the magic train. It can do it. It could fly, I bet you. Alright, so let's say you got this whole engine part done. I could have just done that one, but I needed I needed the clip. I needed to, I needed to actually edit because I didn't edit at all. Um, so, let's say you had the whole thing done, and you wanted to make it look more like the movie, from like the movie movie. So what you want to do, what you want to, what you're going to want to do is you're, at the front cow catcher, you see I, um, I replaced it more of like an old western style because in the movie it had one, um, it had a, like a more like cow catcher style. I added the safety bar, because in the movie they went behind it, you can't really because of the headlight, but if you want to role play, look now you're behind the safety bar. Um, headlight, replace with a beacon, and put this up there. Uh, I changed the front color because the whole locomotive is black. And the feed water heater, that was, uh, it's not supposed to open that thing, but the thing that was right here in front of the smokestack, it's the feed water heater. Replaced with a lever, wasn't shown on the locomotive model in the movie. Whistle, took away the flower pot, replaced it with the whistle from the movie, and was actually, see a railroad number three, I think, or number five's whistle. Uh, that's why it has like that epic sound. Um, replaced it, and it was a bit taller in the movie. Um, left the firebox like this. You can change it to black if you want. I like I like it like this. It looks uh, I like it how it sticks out or stands out from the rest. And I changed the uh, lettering to white. I think it was white in the movie. I don't remember. And because they never showed the tender, I uh, got rid of the back headlight because they never really show you. So I'm just gonna assume that there isn't. I mean, there probably is, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna assume that there isn't. Uh, but I left the ladder, left the hatch there. You can leave the tool, I mean, I don't really think the toolbox was ever, I don't think it really had a toolbox, so. Yeah. Um, there really wasn't much, actually, there was a little bit shown on the tender. I don't think there was a back headlight, and I don't know if there was this in the back. I'm gonna leave this logo there, so other trains in the magical world would know. Um... Tender, the engine, it's all based off of the actual Primarket. Also, I got rid of the builder's plates. Uh, they're not shown in the movie. Also, the uh, rear marker lights, not there on the Polar Express model. Um, I left the dynamo. Oh, that's like a generator, so we'll just leave the dynamo there. That's what those two heads are there for, if you're wondering. Dynamo's what, the dynamo's what make the steam engine. It makes like that, like that, like that buzzing sound. And then, like, the weird is like the sound of the, what are they, cylinder cocks or air pumps going up and down. I've seen them before in action on the 844. So, that's really all I really, that's really all you change. Um, so, yeah. I don't know why I gave myself that. Um, this has been it. Oh, and also coal bunker. You can add it if you want. Um, the whole thing's the same. Just I changed a few things. So, yeah. Merry Christmas, y'all. Thanks for watching. I really enjoyed this uh, build. Go check out the Polar Express passenger cars. Um, there are those right there. Not the heavyweights. These ones will just be released some other time. 
So yeah, go check out the passenger cars. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas if you guys are watching this in like the middle of March, okay? Still, Merry Christmas. Merry early Christmas. Merry late Christmas. Merry late Christmas, everybody. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Keep the sub count going. Catch y'all later. Thanks for watching.